infamous tiger breeder and some would say all-around lunatic, Joe Schreibogel Maldonado Passage, a.k.a. Joe Exotic, was arrested on September 7, 2018. He was indicted by a federal grand jury on two counts of murder for hire for trying to hire two different hitmen to kill Carol Baskin, CEO of Big Cat Rescue. Schreibogel has been threatening Baskin for years. And you want to know why Carol Baskin better never, ever, ever see me face to face, ever, ever, ever again. Schreibogel operates a roadside zoo in Oklahoma with 1,400 animals, including over 150 tigers. Schreibogel constantly breeds tigers so he can have cubs for display. The cubs are taken from their mothers shortly after birth and are brought to malls and fairs across the country where people can pay to pet them. Another cub on display was missing a patch of fur and clearly not happy to have its photo taken. A shark investigator witnessed and documented one of Schreibogel's displays in 2015 at the Mississippi Valley Fair in Davenport, Iowa. When another investigator attended the 2016 fair, she was bullied by Schreibogel himself. And I'm going to ask you one more time to get away from my display or I'm going to file criminal charges on you. After the initial encounter, the investigator was stalked by Schreibogel and his minions. When the police were called in, they incredibly sided with Schreibogel. If you continue to videotape, he's asked you not to. Right, well he, told me, he just told me that. We're going to ask you to leave. The footage we gathered of the show reveals Big Cats displaying repetitive behavior, which is a sign of boredom and stress that can lead to mental illness. A link to the full video is in the description section below. Peddling Big Cat Cubs isn't the only thing Schreibogel has done to hurt animals. Carol Baskin and Big Cat Rescue have been exposing his misdeeds for years. Here are just a few of the issues they've exposed. Failure to provide adequate veterinary care. Failure to handle animals so that there was minimal risk of harm to the animal and to the public. Lack of employees present to provide care to 80 large, dangerous cats. And filthy, wet, unsafe, and dilapidated enclosures. Big Cat Rescue has meticulous documentation of other USDA violations on their website. Instead of making changes to better his facilities, Schreibvogel decided to maliciously attack his detractors. Big Cat Rescue was able to put an end to Schreibvogel's mall exhibitions by educating malls about the negative impact these shows had on the lives of the cubs. So Schreibvogel retaliated by changing the name of his traveling show to Big Cat Rescue Entertainment to trick people into thinking the show was operated by Big Cat Rescue. Big Cat Rescue subsequently sued for violations of its intellectual property rights and in 2013 was granted a consent judgment for over $1 million. Shark has often spoke about the fact that animal abuse often leads to abuse against humans. Schreibogel is proof that those willing to exploit and harm animals are fully capable of causing harm to people. If you care about animals, please do not attend roadside zoos or county fairs with big cat encounters. These animals are more often than not victims of exploitation and abuse. If you want to help animals, visit and support reputable sanctuaries such as Big Cat Rescue. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video. You can subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help shark help animals.